Hey, little sister, what's the worst show ever? That gets my goat. I, I'm sick and tired of mockumentaries. I made my own mockumentary back in college, and that was the one film that I did in college that people actually liked, and it was successful. It won awards. I remember there was an Audience Choice Award. Yeah. I wasn't allowed to participate, or you certainly wouldn't have won, but I remember being in the audience when you guys got that award. Yeah. That was uh, one of the few things that I was involved in that people liked. I try and think back on the last thing that I saw that was done as that style that I liked. And Well, I, I thought we had talked about watching Modern Family before, and the, the mockumentary style is enough to make you not watch it? No, it's not the mockumentary thing. I think that that is probably the biggest weakness of it, because I'm sick of that. I don't know. It just irritates me, that whole thing. But the show's funny enough that I would still watch it. The Office, I don't feel the same way about it. And I think it's because of Steve Carell that I, he's one of those deal breaker t- kind of guys that I can't stand. Well, you, sh- you got to write these down so that we can <laughs> talk about Steve Carell and, and Mel Brooks and Will Ferrell, Harrison Ford and Will Ferrell and, and Tom Cruise. And I, I, I'm thinking of that one uh, Kirsten Dunst movie. I remember when we actually met Kirsten Dunst in per- Drop, person. Drop Dead Gorgeous. Yeah, it was called Drop Dead Gorgeous. But at the time we met her, it was still called Dairy Queens. And I asked her about it. And you it. told her that you were looking forward to it. And she said, oh, yeah. No, and she said <laughs> Denise Richards was a real bitch. Do you remember that? <laughs> I don't remember. And I was just that. like, wow, she confided in me. Someday I'm going to hate her in Spider-Man 3. But until then. <laughs> I think I liked that one. But I th- I think it was not because of the mockumentary stuff. I think I liked it more just because of all the goofy accents, to tell you the truth. <laughs> and by goofy accent, to all our Midwestern fans, I mean the v- pretty accent that you have out there. The hot, sophisticated yes. Midwestern Wisconsin accent. Yeah, that's good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> there seem to be a couple of different kinds of mockumentary and... The one that I have trouble with is the ad-libbed one, where they just let the camera go and people just make things up as they go along. Whereas something like Modern Family that's scripted, Uh I think I I can get my brain around or my sense of humor around a lot more. Like the Christopher Guest ones, I think they're pretty renowned for we just ad-libbed the whole movie. You know, we, we got the camera rolling and... Apparently, the end has come. End of days, wonder, as prophesied in the book of Revelations. I wonder if anybody can hear that. It oh, certainly. By? Do they? Because like in that outtakes that we just listened to, Renee was like, ah, car, go away. And I couldn't hear the car. Maybe if I had headphones in, I could. But I bet people can hear the snowplow. <laughs> oh, so it's not the. I, I was just about to repent. You should have saved it. Anyhow, the, the Christopher Guest ones, they, they were especially popular when we were in college. And people were really, really enjoying them. Like you'd go to a party or you go to somebody's house and they'd put that on. And I always had a hard, hard time not masturbating. Yeah. Sorry. I always had a hard, hard time laughing and finding it funny. And I remember somebody mentioned The Office, this awesome British show, the comedy that was hilarious. And, that, and I watched some of it online And I thought what I was watching was like a documentary about a making of an episode of The Office and that this was all real. And I was like, shoot, I accidentally got this behind the scenes footage kind of thing, (laughs) which, okay, makes me sound like the French guy, I suppose, which is which is fine because Turnabout is fair play. But I guess that sort of soured me on it because when I finally saw an episode proper rather than just scenes from an episode, you know, with the opening titles and all that, I was like, oh. So the whole thing is like this? Oh. I I guess I was bummed out. I was disappointed. And so I think you and I sort of have that in common. But I like Steve Carell and I like Ricky Gervais a lot, but I couldn't watch The Office either version. I think it's just that's part of it. And I did do an episode of The American Office. And uh, yeah, it wasn't ad-libbed at all. It was the same lines over and over in each take. Um, It was just shot and i guess it's a super cheap way to make a show i i don't know it's a stylistic choice but i can't get behind it right that's it that's the end hey 
That Gets My Goat is produced under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivatives License, which between you and me means nothing. Somebody was saying, oh, it was like my, uh, one of those obscure relations that it's hard to come up with a name for, but we were at the family party and he was there. How about Steve? <laughs> yeah, probably Steve. He would be my step brother-in-law married to my stepsister. Okay. Which makes him my step brother in law, but he was saying that he It makes him nothing. <laughs> he had a tape. I don't know if you ever did this with any movie when you're a kid, but he had a tape of the audio of the Princess Bride and he would just listen to it in his car until he had it memorized to the point where he can even tell you like the way their footsteps go when they're oh, doing the, the fight at the top of the cliffs of insanity. When I was a kid, we had a tape of the Disney Robin Hood movie. So that's why you constantly I, quote Robin I Hood. I still, yeah, remember that. And also, it was the first videotape we actually bought to go with our brand new VCR. And so, owing to the fact that it was one of like three tapes that we had for like a year, we watched it a lot. And so, all, everybody in my family can quote that movie like nobody's business in creepy levels. That is creepy. Thanks for listening to Dupo Remo for today. See you later, folks. Oh crap! Was this a Dupo Remo? We didn't. I didn't even let people know. Hello, lady. Uh. All right. Let me try to think of the equivalent of American graffiti for today's audiences. Is help me out here. Something that's so inappropriately not a comedy, but would have existed back in those days. In which days? In, in like ninety two. Regarding Henry. Okay, something more dour and unpleasant than more that. More dour and unpleasant than regarding Henry? Okay, well, that's Best fine. show about a man who gets shot in the Okay, head. wait, 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 that's fine. to come back to...